Joe, your third fight coming up. How much you enjoyed the professional experience so far? Uh, so far, it's been great. I've been, I've been learning a lot in the pros. Um, I really enjoyed it. Everything's going to plan. You know, we just keep improving every day. I mean, you had a lot of amateur experience. You boxed in the WSB. Do you ever wish you turned pro earlier now? Um, not, not really. To be honest, I think that experience was essential. You know, to take me to that next level. So. I think um, it was a good idea to stick around and, and get, get the experience from the top quality amateurs out there. So yeah, um, I'm just really looking forward to the next step now. What's the biggest difference for you in a training, professional training camp, in the sense you're in Sheffield and you've run the GB squad for years and there's a lot of really noisy characters, about 20 of you in that gym, and you're in Imran Nahim's gym and it's just yourself and the Lever Brothers, it's all pretty quiet. What's the difference there? Yeah, just like what you said there, the atmosphere is it's a little bit different. Well, but I think the biggest difference is maybe we train for six to eight weeks for one particular fight, whereas it, on the amateur scene, it was, you know, you train, you'd be in shape all year round and you could be boxing in two weeks' time, you get noticed, or you're going to Germany, you're going to uh, Finland, you're going to this place. So you have to always be in shape. So I think that, that's the biggest difference. What's that like for your body, having to you know let it go a little bit because you're not in the gym as much as what you might have been in the amateurs? It's a lot easier, definitely. It's a lot easier, a lot more enjoyable. I'd say, you know, we can we can relax a little bit more. But then obviously, when when it's time to get down to work, we do we do have to put the work in 100%. Mm. Flyweights tend to move quicker. I know you've only had a couple fights, and I don't want to say fight the world tomorrow. But you know, do you think you can be moving into say a Commonwealth title fight against the Jay Harris, someone like that, a lot sooner than? most uh, yeah just like what you said there flyweights there's not that many of us so i think within the next year or two i could be fighting for my first title you know things like that do happen in the flyweight scene so we just have to just take it every fight as it comes you know and just be ready is anyone you've got your eye on we've got paddy barnes on box nation regu regularly jay harris who i've mentioned Either of those guys on your radar? Um, th there's a lot of good fights out there. D the, the guys that you just mentioned there, you know, they've all got titles. That's what I'm chasing. I'm not chasing the names or anything like that. It's more what what that person would have at the time. So we'll just see um, at that time who's got the titles and which which direction we go. You're too nice to call people <laughs> out, aren't you? Just start saying I'm going to knock you out and all that, aren't you? Eh? Um, I just let my boxing do the talking for me when I get in the ring and it's time to go to work. Then. You know, that's what everyone's there to see, so that's the main thing. Did you ever get angry with a rival? Um, <laughs> like you said, I think I'm too nice, but uh, when it gets down to it, you know, when we get in the ring, it's just, just me and that guy, so I have to I have to really put in the work. Final question, at what stage do you turn into Mr Nasty? Is it on the ring walk, is it in the morning, or weigh-in? It's when um, my entrance music goes on. You know, that's when, that's when I, I, get switched, I get switched on, and. Yeah, that's when the, it changes, all changes, see the red mist. <laughs>